p.m. tonight. Please raise your hand to ask a question and remain on mute. Otherwise, no tweeting in the broadcast section. And uh, due to the time constraints, the amount of people on the call will uh, we'll ask for one question per person with a follow-up as well um, to allow us to get through as many as possible in the time we have. So uh, I think Jamie Weir is going to kick us off from Sky. Yes, Jamie. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Antonio. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Um, some managers are saying that this weekend's round of fixtures should be postponed. Others think it should be carrying on. Some have questioned the integrity of the league, with some be games being played and some not. What are your thoughts? My, my thoughts, and uh, uh, we are ready to to follow the the rules, and I think that. Uh, this is the, mo the most important thing. If uh, there are the rules, for sure the rules uh, have to be the same for uh, all, uh, all the teams. Uh, for, this, uh, for this reason, uh, uh, um, we are ready to, to follow the, the rules and we are ready to, to play uh, and uh, we are ready to to do what uh, what the other the last to uh, to do and uh, yeah can I ask you what your thoughts are regarding vaccination as well the EFL yesterday said 25% of their players have no intention of being vaccinated in Spain 97% of players are vaccinated what are your thoughts on it and and what's the situation at Tottenham but uh, honestly, this uh, uh, personal matter and uh, the vaccination and uh, I have been vaccinated and uh, my family, uh, my daughter, my wife, uh, they, uh, they did uh, the same. And, uh, but uh, for sure, this, uh, this matter, uh, a personal matter and uh, I'd like that, that the other people uh, uh, do the same, but uh, uh, every single person has to take the, the best decision for, uh, for himself. Uh, I have been vaccinated and uh, also, also my family, and uh, we did, we did the, the, vac the, the vaccination. And I think that in this, uh, in this moment, it's uh, is very important to, to have this uh, this type of solution, I guess, to this problem. Grazie, Antonio. Grazie. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, James Savindra, please. Hi, Antonio. Half of Hi. the Premier League matches this weekend have been called off. Do you want your match to take place on Sunday? Uh, uh, can you repeat the question? Sorry. Yeah, so half of the matches that are supposed to take place this weekend in the Premier League have already been postponed. Your game against Liverpool is set to take place. Do you want yeah. the match to go ahead? But uh, as as uh, I said to you before, and uh, we are ready to do to follow uh, what the uh, Premier League uh, uh, um, decides. And uh, in the past, uh, I have seen that. Uh, uh, for example, and uh, uh, in in the situation, I uh, and then uh, against against Ren, and uh, I have seen that uh, it was a big problem for uh, for for us, and uh, because uh, we had many players with uh, with COVID, and uh, um, no one wants to take uh, a decision about this, and. Uh, I don't remember that uh, last week uh, we had uh, we had an outbreak with nine players with COVID, with uh, seven uh, seven uh, person of the staff with COVID, with uh, under under twenty three uh, many many players with COVID, but and, and then uh, uh, we are expecting the, the decision uh, <laughs> uh, about our our game uh, our game against against Ren, but this uh, this is an example and uh, to. I repeat, if there are rules and we have to follow the rules and to respect this, and we are ready to do this, and uh, for sure the situation is not uh, is not simple. 
it's not easy situation for all the teams. But uh, every game, uh, we are prepared to play every game. Uh, it was the same against, uh, against Leicester. It was the, the same against Rennes. It was the same uh, in, in every game that um, they decided to postpone. And this is the first match that your team will play in two weeks. How are the squad both physically but also mentally as well? Yeah, after after two weeks, uh, it's not easy and uh, to answer this uh, this question, um, because in these uh, in these two weeks uh, we faced uh, COVID problems, and uh, to have a train um, our training uh, ground was uh, closed for three days, and uh, we didn't train for uh, uh, for three uh, four days, and uh, we restarted to train with. Uh, uh, with only one part of, of the players, and uh, and then uh, other players uh, are back. But as you know very well, uh, you don't know if uh, um, the time now that the players that uh, had the COVID uh, needed to recover uh, to be fit, and uh, for sure to play, I think is good. It's good for us because uh, uh, in uh, two weeks that. Uh, we uh, we are not playing, and uh, but I repeat, and uh, I'm ready to follow what they they try to uh, or they, they they want to do. Thanks, James. Simon Stone, please. Hi, Antonio. I, I know yes. you said that vaccinations are a personal matter, and I understand that. But the rules, the way the rules are, if an unvaccinated person is a close contact of a positive case, they have to isolate for 10 days, which potentially could affect your team. It could take players away from you. Would you urge players who are not vaccinated to get vaccinated or do you just keep out of it? But honestly, it is... It's not easy, and it's not easy to um, to answer this question. And uh, uh, I think uh, every every single person, uh, every single player, or uh, a single pe person or staff of the people that work in Tottenham or in other clubs, uh, has to take the uh, the decision for uh, for himself and. Uh, um, I think uh, uh, I, I, I took my decision. My family took uh, uh, their own decision, uh, but uh, um, uh, I can force anyone to uh, to take a, a, a personal decision because I think this is uh, this is not right. And uh, um, for sure, it's a moment that. Uh, uh, we are facing uh, another uh, pandemic and uh, we have to pay great attention. Uh, but I, I repeat, it's very difficult to go into uh, uh, a situation or, uh, or in the head of uh, other, other person. Thank you. Thank you. Very Thanks, much. Simon. Um, Pete Colley from PLP, please. Thanks. Hi, Antonio. Hey, um, we, we all know when, when footballers don't play, uh, they become unhappy. So how have you kept high spirits? How have you kept the morale over the last two weeks? Uh, the, 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 the morale was uh, very, very down. Uh, also because uh, uh, we prepared uh, and we had, we had the training session to, to play to play games and uh, we prepared uh, uh, all these games and uh, um, in two weeks uh, for uh, for three times no for three times uh, they, um, we didn't play and uh, for sure uh, the, the the morale is uh, is down now when happened this uh, this type of situation uh, but at the same time and for example yesterday we were ready to to play against Leicester. And uh, we were there, and then 
uh, before the launch, um, they said us that the, the, the game was uh, postponed. And then launch, uh, another travel, when they arrived, and, uh, another training session. And uh, it's, not, it's not easy. It's not easy also to... <laughs> Uh, to explain the players, you know, to explain the players and uh, to, uh, to to find the right energy when uh, you are prepared to play a game and then the, 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 the game was uh, postponed and uh, to come back to have another training session and uh, today uh, to prepare uh, another game against Liverpool and uh, you don't know if uh, you are able to play and... Uh, uh, surely is is not simple and it's not simple and uh, if the moral is a bit down i think that uh, uh, i can justify uh, my players the mm, the whole uh, environment uh, uh, but at the same time i think that uh, we are ready we are ready to play on sunday uh, an important game against uh, a really good team and uh, an amazing team and uh, with uh, the difficulty that we are facing, uh, we, are, uh, we are ready to, to play this game. Uh, on your opposition, uh, just finally for me, how good is Mo Salah right now in, in, in world football? I think he's one of the, the, the best players uh, in the world. And... Uh, Because he's, uh, uh, during, during the game, uh, we have seen that uh, how he scored, how he make assist. And uh, he's very, uh, a very decisive player. And uh, during the game, uh, uh, every time uh, he has the ball, uh, he's, uh, he's a, a danger. And uh, yeah, he improved a lot. I remember him uh, when he played uh, uh, in Italy. And uh, now he's... Uh, he proved uh, in a, an incredible way. Now I think he's one of the the best uh, players in the world, and uh, uh, above all, in every game is uh, very decisive. Thanks, thanks, Good. Pete. Yeah. Alistair Gold, please. Hi there, Antonio. Um, just want to ask you of, of the players that have returned from isolation, the ones who've had COVID. Have you seen them struggle in training sessions or have some of them not even been able to do training sessions? Yeah, but uh, when, uh, when uh, the players uh, 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 are back uh, from, uh, from COVID and uh, for sure, uh, and uh, you have to pay great attention and... Um, you can't give them uh, the same charge of work uh, uh, of the other players, and uh, you have to pay attention because uh, if you want uh, uh, everything uh, uh, very soon, you risk to to have injury. And I think this is uh, in this uh, situation, uh, um, you have to take the risk, but at the same time uh, you have to pay great attention because uh, they need time to be fit and also. Uh, in the uh, before to uh, to pick uh, the start eleven, uh, and uh, you have to uh, to take on consideration uh, all of these, and uh, for example, to start uh, with uh, one player, and then uh, during the game, uh, after 60, 70 minutes, uh, to change him with another player that uh, I, uh, he had COVID. In this situation, uh, I think it's it's important to to have patience. And uh, to uh, to take uh, the right risk, and uh, you know very well that uh, every one of us uh, uh, would, would like to um, to pick the, the the best, no, the best players, the best start eleven. But at the same time, uh, uh, you have to understand that they need a bit of time to. Um, uh, to have a, a, a good form, to be fit, and uh, don't risk uh, uh, an injury. Uh, otherwise, uh, it would be a disaster. And can I just ask you very quickly how Sergio Regulon's doing with his injury? But as, as Sergio, Sergio uh, until uh, today, 
and uh, he trained uh, apart, but uh, now he's ready. He's ready tomorrow to have the training session with us. And uh, now he's, uh, he, the player is uh, comfortable to uh, uh, to back uh, to have training with uh, with us. And uh, is uh, I hope I hope that uh, tomorrow he's totally recovered. And but today the um, Sergio was uh, was happy was happy because. Uh, um, his feeling was uh, was good. Thanks, Ali. Last one in this Thanks. section, Jonathan Veal, please. Hi, Antonio. This one's actually not Hi. about COVID. Um, it's two weeks until the transfer window opens. I'm just wondering whether you've had a chat with uh, Fabio Paratici and Daniel Levy about identifying targets for next month. In, in, in this moment, uh, uh, in this moment, uh, we are not thinking. Uh, we are not thinking uh, and uh, about uh, uh, transfer window. And uh, uh, we have had uh, uh, many, many problems to face and to try to solve. That uh, uh, it was very difficult to to speak uh, about other other uh, topics. And uh, for sure, and in, in the next uh, days uh, we'll try to have uh, a meeting and uh, to speak. Uh, about the situation, uh, if there is, there is a way to, to improve the, the squad, in which way. But um, in this moment, uh, uh, I'm making an evaluation about the whole squad. And uh, COVID also uh, could be a good chance, a good opportunity for someone to show me that uh, they, uh, they deserve to, to play, to continue to play for, for Tottenham. Thanks, Johnny. Uh, we will now move on to the embargoed section of 10.30 p.m. tonight. Uh, Jason Burt, please. 